Lord, you've been very good to my family. I'm so appreciative for all of the resources that you provided for us. And everything that I have, Lord, is yours to serve you. What you've blessed me with in terms of my wealth and income can be represented by these 10 apples up here. The one, the very first one on the end is that pretty golden delicious apple. Lord, that's your apple. That one's for you. And these nine other apples, well, they're for me. These are what I do with the resources that I've been blessed with. For example, this first apple is what I put away for retirement. I want to make sure I have I've saved enough money so that when I stop working, I can still provide for my family. So it's important that I put money away for retirement because it's a few years off and, and I want to be ready. So this apple is for providing for retirement, for being able to provide for my family. This apple, we'll call it my housing apple. I'm so blessed to have a comfortable home, a roof over my family's head. Although it's, it's a little expensive to be a homeowner, as you all probably know, but Lord, I'm so thankful that we have a safe and happy home and it's important for our family. And I, I'm so appreciative of having uh, a, a, a great home to be in. This apple we'll call my transportation apple. Now, Lord, I know four cars for two people is a little excessive, but when you live in the northern neck, you need a spare vehicle like a pickup truck so that you can take your trash to the dump and then socialize with your friends and neighbors while you're there. <laughs> and Lord, it's, it's tough really to, to buy a vehicle today that, that, that doesn't have power windows, power seats, power steering, power brakes, maybe a power sunroof, air conditioning, and in my case, a high fidelity performance Bose stereo system. <laughs> you know when John D. Rockefeller died in 1937. He was the richest man in the world. But poor Mr. Rockefeller never had an opportunity to ride in a luxurious vehicle as my Jeep Cherokee. <laughs> this, uh, this apple, I would say, is my communications apple. Lord, it's tough for a man these days to live without 325 channels on satellite TV, especially without HBO, Cinemax, and ESPN. It's just, it's just a tough thing to do without that. And this Apple pays for all the iPhones in my house. You know, iPhones are a really neat thing. If I'm, if I'm downstairs and my wife is upstairs doing something, I don't need to holler up the stairs, hey, what are you doing? I just text her. So, Lord, I really, I have to confess, I really don't understand why women's clothing costs so much money. And that's not to mention the jewelry and the shoes that have to match those clothes, but it is what it is, and so we just have to deal with it. I mean, why not buy your clothes at the thrift store like I do? And another thing, Lord, every time I go to TriStar, it seems like the other day I went, I got four bags of groceries at $200. But, you know, you put a little beer and wine in your cart and maybe a sirloin steak, and boom, that price goes way up. So that's, that covers, that apple covers those expenses, Lord. And of course, one of the big apples for all of us is health care. Healthcare prices keep going up, and so I want to be prepared so that if anything happens, if any of my family members get sick, that we're, we're able to cover that and take care of ourselves. So healthcare is a big apple too. And then we all can't do without a vacation because that's part of being able to get away and clear your head and, 
and, and do different things, maybe uh, go out to dinner, uh, uh, go on a hunting trip maybe once in a while. But, you know, last year we, we, we uh, took a vacation. This year we went to Europe, we liked it so much, we're gonna go back again next year. So vacations are important, so we need to save for those as well. Then, these last two, well, one of these actually we have to render under Caesar's what is Caesar's. So taxes, we have to pay those. So this apple has to go to Caesar. And that apple sometimes is a heavy apple. And then there's insurance. Just about everything I own is insured. My car, my home, my boat, my health, my life, even my personal identity is insured. So that's a, a pretty big bill too. So we come down, Lord, to your apple. This is your apple. But Lord, everybody knows that inflation is taking a big bite out of all of us. Out of everything that I spend money on, inflation is being impacted by that. So Lord, I hope you would understand if I took a little bit of your apple to cover the, the, the cost of inflation because everything's going up. And certainly you understand that, Lord. And then, Lord, so far, you have blessed me with two wonderful grandchildren. I love them to death. But you know, educating those children is a very expensive ordeal these days. So, Lord, I hope you would understand if I took a little bit of your apple to pay for my grandkids' college education. It's an important item, and it's in the spirit of giving. And speaking of the spirit of giving, there's Christmas coming up. I want to make sure I've, I've, I give what those grandkids what they're looking for, my other family and friends. I mean, Christmas is important. We need to, we need to do what we can to give to others in the spirit of giving. And Lord, that iPhone I was talking about a little while ago, my iPhone is an i6, which is close to being an antique. So it's time for me to upgrade to an iPhone 13 so that I can take pictures of my children and my grandchildren and post them on, on Facebook every morning. So I need a new iPhone. That's coming up. And the other thing that we really want to focus on, especially here at the end of the year, is charitable giving, Lord. We hope that you'll understand if we took a little bit of your apple for charitable giving to support all the wonderful organizations in our area like the Boys and Girls Club and the Northern Neck Free, Cl Free Health Clinic and things like that that are doing so many good things. We think you'd understand, Lord, if we took a little of your apple to help them. So what's left, Lord? This is what I have left to offer you.